Hey what's up guys, Betty here and welcome to another Black Ops 4 Blackout video and as you may have seen, every specialist mission is now available in Blackout. So in this video I'm going to show you the easiest and quickest way to unlock every single specialist and get your hands on those specialist weapons. So let's get into it. So first up, I'll be showing you how to unlock Seraph, who I think will probably be one of the most popular skins to unlock in Blackout, which is also going to make it pretty difficult to get, and there are also a couple of handicaps that you'll be given whilst trying to unlock her through her Annihilator pistol. First of all, you need to get your hands on the Annihilator pistol, which spawns at firing range in the range building. It does not spawn every single game. You'll be able to tell whilst you're flying in if it's spawned by checking to see if this target has spawned in. So you can make a last second decision whether you land next to the range or somewhere else in the area, such as Blue American, as the range tends to be quite a hot drop. If the weapon has spawned in, this box with the Annihilator in it will be on the table. To open the box and get the Annihilator, you'll need to shoot the target with a pistol and the box will open, allowing you to pick up the Annihilator. The Annihilator will give you the mission you need to complete to unlock the Seraph skin. You'll need to get a kill with the Annihilator, place in the top five of the game and finish the game with the Annihilator in your inventory. Now, getting the kill with the Annihilator is pretty easy as it's pretty damn powerful and can kill an enemy with one or two shots to the chest and is a one-shot kill to the head. But be wary that you only have six bullets, so you may want to use a nine bang or concussion grenade to help guarantee the kill. But I would advise always trying to pick up this kill in firing range before you think about making it to the end of the game. Next up, you have to place in the top five of the match, which can be fairly difficult as you'll need to make it to the end game. And you'll also only be able to use one primary weapon as you have to make sure that the Annihilator is in your inventory at the end of the game to unlock the skin. So make sure you pick up an assault rifle like an ICR, which is a bit of an all-rounder. To guarantee yourself getting the skin, I would recommend just playing it slow in duos or squads and play with friends. Use a vehicle such as a chopper to stay out of combat for as long as you possibly can, then just play it slowly on the edge of the circle till you end up in the top five. It's not worth getting in unnecessary gun battles if you really want to unlock the skin. And if it's duos or squads, your teammates might help carry you to that fifth place finish. So to unlock Seraph, land at firing range, shoot the target, open the box, get the Annihilator, kill someone with it, keep out of combat, get into the top five, and then you'll have the Seraph skin. Next up, we have Battery, who you're now able to unlock thanks to the War Machine being added into Black Ops 4 Blackout. This is once again a weapon that there is no guarantee of getting your hands on during a Black Ops 4 Blackout match. So there's a few things you can do to help increase your chances of finding it and making sure that you can unlock the Battery skin for you to use in the game. First of all, once you get the War Machine, the objectives that you'll need to complete to unlock the skin are to get two kills with the War Machine and then end the game with the War Machine in your inventory. Now, getting two kills with the War Machine doesn't sound too difficult, but you only get six grenades in total and you cannot get more ammo for the weapon unless you somehow manage to find another War Machine. You can find the War Machine to get the mission to unlock battery in supply drops. So if you want to get this mission, what I would advise you do is to either find a helicopter or ATV and head towards every supply drop that you see in the game. Now, from my personal experience, I've tended to find the war machine to the latter stages of a match. As the circle gets smaller, then the best way to pick up the kills is to use perks like awareness to help find enemies that are hiding inside of buildings, as it will absolutely destroy an opponent in those tight areas at close range. So, in order to unlock battery, make sure to head towards every single supply drop you see that gets dropped, Get the war machine and pick up two kills with the six grenades by targeting enemies that are hidden inside of buildings to increase the chances of getting those kills. And make sure you keep a hold of the war machine in your inventory to complete the mission and unlock battery. 
Next up, you now have the ability to unlock Firebreak in Blackout and is probably one of the more awkward character skins to unlock in my personal experience because of how weak Molotovs are in Blackout. First things first, you'll need to find the Burn Doll to start off the mission to be able to unlock the Firebreak skin, which will take up one inventory slot. You will then need to confirm a kill or clean up a down player with fire. Now, from what I've found so far is that you can find the burn doll in green caches such as this one. Also remember that there's always a chance that you'll find it and be able to loot it from an enemy player. So if you really want the firebreak skin, it's always good to be prepared and pick up a couple of Molotovs when you see them around the map. Now, the unique thing with this mission is the fact that you can get it from just confirming a kill with fire. So the easiest way to complete this mission is playing either duos or squads. And if you or your teammate manage to down an enemy, throw the Molotov on the downed enemy to complete the mission and confirm that kill with fire. As it can be pretty difficult to pick up a kill purely from a Molotov compared to a cluster grenade, for example. Also, you will need to keep the burn doll in your inventory, so don't drop it after confirming a kill with a Molotov. So to unlock Firebreak, find the burn doll from a green cache or an enemy body, collect Molotovs, pick up a kill ideally on a down player in duos or squads, and then you unlock Firebreak in Blackout. Next up, we have hands down the hardest skin to currently unlock in Black Ops 4 Blackout, which is Profit. Now, not only do you need to find the ocular prosthetic to start the mission, which you can find in supply drops, the hardest part of the mission is the fact that you need to win the match in order to unlock the skin. You also need to have three perks active at the point that you win the game with the ocular prosthetic still in your inventory. Don't do what I did at first and forget to have the perks active. It will break your heart. Also, look for long-lasting perks like Consumer and Squad Link so there's no chance of them disappearing. So starting this mission is all down to the luck of finding the ocular prosthetic from a supply drop or off an enemy body. But all I can say is make sure you take your time, constantly loop back on yourself on the edge of the circle to make it less likely for you to be flanked in solos. But you'll probably find it much easier unlocking profit, playing with a group of friends in squads to increase your chance of picking up the win needed to complete the mission. So find the ocular prosthetic from a supply drop or dead body, make sure you have three perks active when you win the match and you will unlock profit to use in blackout. Next up, we have another one of the super popular specialists that you can now unlock to use in blackout, which is of course, Ruin. What you'll need to do in order to unlock him is to get your hands on the punching mitts, which can spawn in three different locations. The punching mitts will either spawn at construction site at the top of the big crane that holds the crate next to the helipad or on the roof of asylum or at the top of lighthouse. Once you've got the mitts, what you'll need to do is kill an enemy at close range. So you'll want to find a weapon such as a shotgun to have the best chance of success. Also collect nine bang grenades to help you get up close. This tends to be a lot easier to do in squads as your teammates can cover you. But once you've got the kill at close range, which can also be a melee kill, all you'll need to do is finish the match with the punching mitts in your inventory and you'll unlock the ruined skin to use in blackout. Also, from my personal experience, I would recommend landing on the rooftop at Asylum to get the mitts as it's what I found easiest. So land at either the construction site crane, the Asylum rooftop or the top of lighthouse, pick up the mitts, get a kill at close range and then you'll unlock Ruin. Next up, we have Nomad as another new specialist skin that you can now unlock while playing Black Ops 4 Blackout and can be a little tricky to earn as it relies on the enemies that you kill playing as specialist character skins. But there are a few things you can do to increase your chance of completing the mission. First of all, you need to find Junu's tags, which you can find in supply caches in the game, such as the one you can find quite easily at Fracking Tower. You then need to kill three players that are using specialist character skins 
whilst having the tags in your inventory. Now, thankfully, there are no other objectives to this mission, so as soon as you've got the kills and keep the tags in your inventory, you'll unlock Nomad. Now, this is a mission that'll be easier to complete as time goes on, as players will unlock more specialist skins and start using them in-game. So, to increase your chance of unlocking Nomad, you'll want to head towards locations such as Fracking Tower and Cargo Docks, where you'll be able to find supply caches on a more regular basis. So, to unlock Nomad, Find the tags from a supply cache, and then pick up three specialist character skin kills, and you'll get the skin. Next up, we have probably the easiest specialist for you to unlock, Ajax. The mission is pretty simple. All you have to do is have three pieces of broken armor plating in your inventory at the end of the game. You can get broken armor plating from killing enemies with armor on and looting it off their body. And let's be honest, pretty much everybody has armor on, so you'll most likely get this skin on your first attempt. So to unlock Ajax, kill enemies, loot three pieces of broken armor, keep them in your inventory, and you'll get the skin at the end of the match. We now have Crash, which is a fairly tricky specialist to unlock because you have to have 15 healing items in your inventory and finish in the top three of a match. So to start this mission, you'll have to find the poker chips, which you can find in healing bags or off of enemy players around the map. Then I would recommend collecting bandages as they come in stacks of 10 and purposefully do not use your bandages. The worst thing that can happen is for you to use your bandage, finish in the top three and only have 14 healing items. This is definitely easier to finish in duos or squads like many other missions. So get the poker chips, collect as many healing items as possible and take your time and finish in the top three to unlock Crash. Next up, we have one of my personal favorite specialists because I just love the sensor dart and that is Recon. To unlock him, you'll have to find Ching Coins, which you can find in supply drops and crates. Then you'll have to finish within the top seven and avoid collapse damage. This means you cannot take any damage from the blue circle. So what I would recommend is try to keep on the move. Use vehicles like an ATV to stay comfortably within the circle. And once again, like most of these specialist missions, it's much easier to complete playing in duos or quads. So to unlock Recon, find the Ching Coins in a crate or supply drop, use a vehicle like an ATV to stay in the circle, avoid collapse damage at all costs, finish in the top seven, and you'll have the legend that is Recon in Blackout. And last but not least, we have Tork, who is surprisingly another easy specialist to unlock because all you need to do is find the note from Tork to start the mission, which you'll be able to find in a supply drop. You'll then need to place down two razor wires, use a barricade, and finish in the top seven. Now, when I've completed this mission, I've targeted the supply drops towards the end of a match. And if you find the note from Talk, the supply drop will also have two razor wires and a barricade. So place them down instantly and then just play it slow and avoid gunfights to make sure you get into the top seven. And there you have it. You'll unlock Talk. So go for the supply drop at the end of the game, get Talk's note, Place the razor wires and barricade and take your time and you'll have the talk skin in blackout. So there we have it guys. That is how you get every single specialist in Black Ops 4 Blackout. Let me know down in the comments which ones you're going to be going for. And if you've got any tips yourself, do make sure to share them. Smash that thumbs up button and subscribe for more Black Ops 4 Blackout content. And I'll see you next time. Bye.